And we are here again, Jiggity Jig, on the Man and Simple channel. Everything working good. I got everything set back up again after doing a bunch of work today on video projects. So uh, we are back with a little bit of Red, White, Sun, and Moon. This is uh, one of those Nahiri Boom versions. So for anyone who's not aware of this, this is usually a uh, Blood Moon deck that uh, combines it with Land Destruction and uh, Nihiri the Harbinger and Emrakul the Aeon's Torn sometimes, or just as a red-white prison strategy. So we're playing Charles the Void and Karn the Great Creator. We're not playing any Blood Moons in this deck um, in the main deck configuration. I suppose it's possible Blood Moon is not particularly well positioned right now, or rather that it is, but if you're playing land destruction, you don't really have room for both, or rather you don't have a need for both, because if you can destroy your opponent's Urza Saga... Uh, on the turn that they play it, it's basically just as good as being able to kill it. Um, we are playing the combination of Cleansing Wildfire with um, indestructible lands like Rustvale, Blit Bridge, and Cascading Cataract, as well as Flagstones of Trocare. Flagstones, of course, um, will give us the ability to fetch out a Plains when we destroy it. Um, so with Boom, that becomes... Um, sort of mana neutral with cleansing wildfire we can actually target one of our indestructible lands or one of our flagstones of trocair to actually accelerate to ramp um so this becomes a rampant growth plus draw card which is kind of nuts um then we've got 4x chalice of the void we're playing a braid um no copies of um uh, sorry no copies of Lightning Bolt because uh, that would get eaten by, up by Chalice. Playing three main deck Liquid Metal Coatings, which is a little bit ambitious. Um, but with a Braid and Karn the Great Creator, obviously there's there's some synergy to be had there. So um, just interested to see how this lines up because uh, we played multiple leagues uh, with different tweaks of a deck that was uh, that I believe is titled um, General's Moon Base on my YouTube, which was pretty good. So uh, we're going to just see if my theory about uh, Red White being a sort of cleaner, more effective version of that deck may hold true. We're not playing any of the card Season Pyromancer, which I speculated might be one of the uh, sort of better things to be playing there. So um, obviously I don't get to test that part, but uh, we'll see. KJ Jenkins asks, when can I get more Susuru's Prison? Uh, I was actually looking at that for today, KJ. Um, maybe we'll play it second tonight. I don't know what I want to play second tonight. I have like a two different Bant Ephemerate lists loaded up. Um, there was a new 5-0 from Susurus, which is playing some different card choices in the main deck. So, uh, I don't think I want to play it today just because that deck is pretty intense. Uh, but maybe we'll see. We'll see. I'm not actually much of a fan of the new version that he 5-0'd with. Um, I mean, I like the main deck spell skites, but there's like a total elimination. It's this one. I still don't like the serum powders in this deck but i feel like it's just because i don't get them like i don't understand why they're here like i mean conceptually i understand what they're for i just i've played two leagues with this deck and i just don't feel like this is necessary but i feel like i must be just playing it wrong right like th that there just has to be that has to be what it is right because i just i i a Susurus has to be smarter than me and better at playing these decks and building them like, but this one's playing zero copies of Mindstone and zero copies of, um, uh, the Maze Mind Tome. Maze Mind Tome certainly isn't necessary, but hey, Larynx Puncher, really how's it going? Our opponent's double queuing in a modern league. Interesting. And I think they were one of the Elementals pilots. No, they were on four color Sahili Cat. Okay. Okay, the sand is very poor.
Alright. Acceptable. Turn three Nahiri Orkarn. Seems good enough. Just ship one of those and let's rock and rumble. Yeah, that's the point of the Mixtron lands, Carrion and Lich. They mess with people's eyes. Of course, they also mess with eye my eyes from time to time, so. Maybe not necessarily the best idea. Was not looking to be on the draw here. But. No potential for four mana. Because they, uh. But the funny thing for me, Carrion Lich, is the mismatch Tron lands tilt me a lot less than this stuff. This I find horribly frustrating. This is not a planes. There's no part of this is a planes. There's a white mana symbol on this. But this isn't even close. This isn't even trying to be a planes. Which I'm aware they're not trying to be one. But like, come on. Come on. Oh, it's Heliod. Well, we can beat infinite life. Wow, I just don't have any more Sacred Foundries. We drew all three of them. Alright, but I have double white, so. Oh no, sorry, that was the um, Cleansing Wildfire. Okay. You have a bicycle desk. It's both a desk and a bicycle. Picks or it didn't happen. Are you you're telling me the desk is a bicycle? Is it more of a desk than every bicycle is one? Because I guess technically every desk is a bicycle, right? Sorry, every bicycle is a desk. I said it backwards. Technically every bicycle can be a desk if you try hard enough. Most decks are non-cycles. Okay. Gets an Arbor Elf. Interesting. So maybe they already have Walking Blista. They don't have Heliod, right? They would have jammed. I've heard of them being coat racks, but never a desk. So I can play Nahiri, eat the Arbor Elf, or the Spike Feeder. I mean, obviously eating the Spike Feeder is the the cleaner play. But I'm not actually worried about dying to infinite life. And then we could just abrade Ranger Captain next turn, play Car in the turn after. So... Clearly, though, I should not have bought him the, uh, the extra Nahiri. They put an Arbor Elf in their hand, so they really want the mana. Kill this one, take three, plus the Spike Feeder hit. They play another Arbor Elf. We kill the next Arbor Elf, then we take five. Then I play Karn. Yeah, that's not... We're, we're going to fall too far behind on life total. If we ever actually drew any of our land destruction, we'd be able to take them off this one Temple Garden, and the Arbor Elves can't untap it. Yeah, Nahiri's definitely dead, but there's nothing I can do to prevent that. Like, there just isn't. Um, and as much as possible, I need to slow roll the Karn into the bridge, because they could have um, Skyclave. I mean, I don't have to, but it's like, if I draw land destruction, then we knock them off the ability to interact like, literally that one forest is the only thing that's, like, keeping them in this game at all in terms of mana. So this turn we're just going to play a tap land and probably kill the ranger captain. 
Or that, or that, or are we playing this? We're playing this. This is what we're playing right now. Wow. Uh, anyone think that Fury might be a good card? I have, I have an opinion, and I just want to hear what all of your opinions are. Um, <laughs> nobody knows it was nobody knew it could be so complicated fury who understands it not me nobody knows the fury nobody knows the fire Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fury is above average. How much above average? Consult your doctor. That's been a while since I've gotten to do the, one of these. Where's my soundboard? Where are you? I added it, right? I didn't add it. I don't have boom, baby. All right, we're going to have to add it. Okay. Eh. Let him know I mean business. Listen, I so I was someone where when I was growing up, my mom overplayed crappy disco albums. Um, for for the future people watching this on YouTube, obviously you're not able to hear the music we're listening to right now. But just 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 bear in mind, uh, there is a boat, but we're not going boat right now. We're just going to full lock them out on mana. Uh, they drew a landlight hand with two arbor elves, and. Um, uh, and then there was a fury. Actually, maybe I'm supposed to go out chalices on the draw. <laughs> what do you do if your opponent shows up with an infinite life combo? Well, you ask them kindly but firmly to uh, retire from their game of Magic the Gathering. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking is, like, Chalice is really not that good here. The problem is, like, that means, like, I'm keeping the three main deck coatings and, like, one stone rain. Which is not great. But, like, Anger and Wrath of God should bridge this anyway, so, yeah. So sorry, yes. So disco songs. Uh, just, just, just go listen to a disco song. Just listen to the bass player. Just, just go listen to the bass player and tell me there isn't something fantastic happening. Because I could basically guarantee you there is. Also, the the song cue is open, y'all. Uh, we just started up Piters, but uh.
Yeah. I got nothing to go with it. Well, we could beat infinite life. So I guess we just play untap land go. I have a broad A if I'm in trouble. Hey, Morty! Oh, we've got Spaghetti Monster. Spaghetti Monster is how we has how we beat um, is how we beat Heliod. Because you attack with it a couple times if you need to, like by ulting Nahiri's. So you get the game locked up, then you attack with it a couple times with the Nahiri's, uh, but then it, it bounces back to your hand each time, and then you just use Nahiri to shuffle it back in, so you would never deck. Um, I don't think that would actually fly in tournament play, by the way. If Alex is here, I think he can probably tell me. I don't think that will fly in tournament play um, in terms of a legal shortcut. So your opponent will have to play it out against you. And then what should happen from there is you just play very, very quickly through all your turns. Just understand what you need to be doing. And then you just force them to keep playing until they deck, which most opponents are not going to want to do. And they'll just scoop. Um, but if they don't want to, I think they don't have to. Just add a mill effect to the sideboard. I mean, it's just not necessary, right? Like, in paper, it just wouldn't be necessary. So so don't. Just don't do that. Uh, if you want to do it online, you can. Um, again, most people are not going to try to play it out against you. And if they're on Heliod combo and they had to go to infinite, they're going to be down on clock. So you should deck them faster than you would be decked, right? They've missed uh, at least two land drops. Trelasara, Moon Dancer. Whenever you gain life, put a plus one, plus one counter on Trelasara, Moon Dancer, and scry one. Ellis Chai teaches us that we are not bound by the circumstances of our birth. We all may find beauty and light if we have the courage to seek them. That's beautiful. Anyway, here's Pillage. Yeah, the thing is, Carrion, though, that if the Emrakul, if the opponent has an Emrakul, then it, it doesn't matter if you had more cards in your deck to start with. <laughs> yeah, the Heliod uh, deck did not uh, did not keep land heavy hands against us, and uh, they were summer summer summarily dismissed. Summarily, I don't know. Okay, this is not the right song. Weird. Summarily? Thank you. I don't know why I couldn't get that in my head today. <laughs> um, On the draw, huh? Yeah, we're not going anywhere with that. Sure. Hmm. 
Now, being on the draw again is... White again. Keskase Heliod. Heliod does reasonably well one weekend, then it tops eight this week top eight this weekend. Suddenly everyone up on Heliod. Yeah, it's just Heliod. Nothing to be worried about, folks. I love I love the MTGO accuracy. Just just hanging out. Voulez-vous Ilio avec moi ce soir? Voulez-vous Ilio avec moi ce soir? Yeah, oui. Jouer tu le Iliod? Liliod? Probably. Alright. So. This is not enough to kill me. So I think we just put the chalice out here. Doesn't feel great, but like. Again, they can go to infinite, we'll beat them. As long as we. Consist consistently stay up on clock. Got the clock rocking beats. Clock, 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 clock rocking beats. Although I would prefer to dodge Collected Company here. Previous opponent didn't play Collected Company once, and that was probably part of the reason we were able to not lose. Yeah. French sounds so funny. I think one of the things is like French. French gets a reputation for being, like, a very romantic language, but it's not actually. I mean, it is, but, like, there's plenty of ways to make it sound pretty gross and crappy. Like, yeah, it sounds good when attractive people in movies say it. Do you know Oiseau has all the vowels in the French language and produces none of them? Basically, yeah. Yeah, the, the correct way to pronounce what Larynx Punchworthy just wrote there is Oiseau. Just try to wrap your brain around that one for a second. Omelette du fromage. Omelette du fromage. <laughs> Larynx Punchworthy knows what the ladies like. Apparently what the ladies like is German poetry. So they... They fetched Arbor Elf with this? I don't know, I, I guess I'm just killing their Ranger Captain here to take less damage. Oh, if they have Ballista, I'm just dead, right? Yeah, that's true. I shouldn't have, should not have done that. For some reason, I thought I was still safe. Now, they're light on cards in hand, so maybe they don't have it. Double green. Collected company? Yeah. Hey, how's it going, Steven's voice? Oh, it's Ballista. Oh, we almost died. Fun. But we didn't, so hooray. Hmm. I probably should have used Pillage there. 
because it's less efficient. And then next turn, if I draw liquid metal coating, I could turn anything into an artifact and then kill it at instant speed. No, but like French has a lot of like throaty kind of sounds. Garçon. I'm almost certain that a braid and je would be contracted. Je braid votre ballista. There, there's a perfect example. Votre. The, the correct way to pronounce that. Votre. Like, that's not an attractive sound. That's, that's, that's phlegmy. Votre. Yeah, right, exactly. Um, so the life gain from Heliod is becoming concerning with the Conclave Mentor. Hey, how's it going, Luke? It's going pretty good. So we have to kill the Conclave Mentor in response here. They get to make their Arbor Elf bigger. Then they go to Infinite Life, so we're fighting through that this game, but we can. Okay, let's top deck the land finally, please. Untap, preferably, <laughs> one time. Okay. I mean, I'ma do it. They can save the Arbor Elf, right? Yeah, they can. God, that sucks. <sighs> How do we win through infinite life? Emrakul. Emrakul does it all, baby. Yep. What's up, Waz? I p prefer to think of that, uh, Waz, by the way, you are now a Yen's Thorin that took a, took a dip in the pool. You are a wet-ass simulacrum. I know your name is not spelled W-A-S, but then I called you Waz, and I was like, heh. <laughs> so unfortunately because it's my turn i have to click no i can't mord i have to play a spell afterwards you nerd so i'm sorry this is not my fault this is my opponent's fault for not doing this on their turn you will get the triggers from fury all right you right Listen, I'm afraid to F6 anymore. It screwed me over recently multiple times. I'm very paranoid. I don't like losing in front of you. You're too good at this game. Te yes, technically true was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, you, you guys are all correct. You guys are all correct. <laughs> F6 is the devil.
I know, Mord. I know. I love you too. I'm a, I'm a bigger fan of the original. I I like the style of these. Um, what do you call them? Covers postmodern jukebox all that crap like i like the style of them but um i don't actually like the covers of songs that i already liked like for me like part of the lyrics and everything that that makes personal jesus a good song is the fact that it's it's a, it i mean it's a good arrangement just one was Oh, you don't like the original Personal Jesus? I mean, that's fair. That's fine. That's fair. I also enjoy uh, Bizarre Love Triangle, etc. Which is why I put it on. Beep 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 Can you guys imagine Heliod with Test of Endurance? Wait, is Test of Endurance modern legal? I know more of those cards are than just Bot Battle of Wits. No. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> I don't I don't really care, Oz. I got uh, all y'all. Yeah, there's also, what is it, Philidar Sovereign? Yeah, I'm on it. I'm on it. Right, as soon as I stacked the triggers, I realized. I don't remember saying that one. How's it going, Halsey? Buy pie d biddy. I don't. I don't. Am I pronouncing what I said wrong? Is that what is that what's happening here? Medium sore, but not too bad. Well, not too bad. It's not too bad. I mean, I guess. Yeah. Plant. So we're basically just dead. This is turn eight? Good lord. <laughs> Not too bad is better than real and shitty. Ain't that the truth? Okay, they could do a whole eight damage to me here. So we're basically dead even if we draw the land now. So I'm not going to show them the Nahiri. We're already uh, hitting enough lag. I'm just going to hit a quick reset and then we board against Heliod. Angry God. Okay. 
So we have an out for um, Utopia Sprawl. And then we've got a Fury, which is always nice in this matchup. I mean, I say an out for Utopia Sprawl. Most important thing about this hand is it's got four lands. It's apparently all I've ever needed. Yes, uh, it's been a. Why, why, why does this always happen? <sighs> turn two land destruction, opponent. Turn one fetch land, no ramp. Your deck plays eight ramp spells. Nah. No, I'm. I'm. Uh, it's been. It's... Quiet, Shana. Also, send you back to the gulag. Wait. <laughs> yeah that's that's where my brain went i got the two for anyway play whatever you want i don't care yeah i would love to look at it So Mardu Deathblade with Monkey. Skir Scourge Shadow Mardu Monkey Blade. Um, my first thought is there's not enough ways to trigger Dragon's Rage Chandler in here. Um, I think Dragon Rage, Ch Dragon's Rage Chandler is the card in your deck that stands out the most as not being... The monkey is felt kind of pointless. Really? That's not something I would expect. Just because the monkey is kind of generically powerful. Not because... Like, I, obviously it doesn't really go with your strategy, so that makes sense. Um, it's just, like, individually kind of nutty. So... So I'm just leaving the Arbor Elf for now. Hello! Oh, okay. I'd rather do this, Mord. I'm not afraid of anything they can play from this, like, for the next little while, and... Like, I, I don't think it's worth putting them on z zero mana for using my whole turn. Like, I just... It's just, like, a much more efficient split of the damage there. Yeah. I, I'm not saying I was right or wrong. I just... Must cast Bust for the flex. I mean, we'd have two lands left. So, wouldn't wait, Mord? Wouldn't the better creatures to kill there be Ballista and the Elf then, and leave the? Conclave Mentor? Uh, that's what I would think, Steven. Because your deck is, like, able to be grindy and slow. 
Um, and I, I think Monkey does work for that strategy, especially with Luris, because Luris, Luris plus Dash Monkey is just like super obnoxious. Um, oh, you're not playing Luris. You said something about it being a Luris deck, but if you're playing Stoneforge, yeah, you're not doing that. Um, I would say try, yank the Channelers and then maybe try to find some like Planeswalkers or something you can slot in there, like two lands and two Planeswalkers or something like that. Because if you're not a Luris deck, I always kind of want to lean into the more powerful cards you could be playing. Transformational sideboard with for, for Luris. Yeah, but the thing about that is you just might as well. You do, uh, Angie Choose. Angie Choose? Yeah, you do. Um, which is... It makes Cleansing Wildfire into the world's greatest rampant growth, which is completely insane. Like, it's actually quite staggeringly powerful when your red ramp spell... Um, like, it's, it's rampant growth plus draw a card, right? Which is... Like, rampant growth is already pretty okay. Well, not in modern, but... Rampant growth plus draw a card is pretty good. I did not, Phoenix. I did not. I only realized it was, like, coming up two days ago. And at that point, I was just like, eh. All right. I think I would rather ramp this turn than a Brade. And then next turn, we can exile that. Okay, if I need double white next turn, we play the prairie. No dank dwellers. What are you, some kind of coward? I mean, I think... I think it's just a choice in this deck. And I don't think it's... I don't think it's wrong at all. Every day is a no-bra day, brown trout. Ever since I downgraded to the A cups. But back in high school, some quality B's before I lost all the weight. The hell is this? Endurance? Nope. Just. Just. Just F6 equity on the Conclave Mentor. You'd love to see it. <laughs> Sorry, Halsey. I would never do that to your food. <laughs> mm. Five mana. Okay, so they 110% have Collected Company in their hand. I guess I could have pillaged them first. Because then if they hit a Heliod, I could exile it with Nahiri there. But if they hit a Skyclave, Skyclave eats the Nahiri. So... I don't really want to do that that way. Hilarious and sad? Well, that just sounds like life. Skyclave cannot eat Nihiri. What are you talking about? <laughs> Pretty sure Skyclave can eat Nihiri. Hey, look, there's the Heliod I was mentioning. Okay, but we're we're in a fine spot for this. Shauna, you you added one too many words there. Burn the elf. I guess I should have. I just um I was just worried about whatever else could resolve here. 
So we'll, we'll see how good slash bad my decision was when this com- com- company resolves. I feel like I don't have enough removal here where I just want to, like, burn stuff on the elf. Yeah, this is the second Heliod deck back-to-back. Well, it, it wasn't for a while, Darth Combo, but um, things have cleared up. Is Nihiri Stoneforge Mystic's cousin? Uh, I mean, possibly. There's no official lore on who the Stoneforge Mystic pictured in Stoneforge Mystic is. That is just a Stoneforge Mystic. And Nihiri the Harbinger would have a clan, so... What you worried about, opponent? What you worried about? Oh. Oh, yeah. Yep. Love that one. Well, I... <laughs> I was going to deal with their Heliod, but maybe I'll just start killing them. God, Fury is so good. Glad I own two of them now. Yeah. I That would be the Nuts Mirror. Yep. Yeah, I should let them know. I told my opponent I won't kill them with damage and that they could chew me out and destroy my Twitter cloud if I ever go back on that. They're still going, so whatever. You're just making it easier for me to win, opponent. Just making it easier for me to win. <laughs> Literally twos of followers. No, actually, a couple hundred. I mean, it's not much. Um, So the Heliod deck can go to infinite life, which beats a reasonable number of... Yeah, on Twitter, Halsey. Uh, a, a reasonable number of... Uh, there's a Twitter link underneath the, the, the stream. Um... And uh, then, then they have Walking Ballista to get to. I'm Mana Symbol on, 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 social, on Twitter, so it's easy to find me. I'm Mana Symbol on everything now. Thank you, YouTube, for making that easy. I guess my opponent really likes the number 200. Hey, Snuggles. So just... Just to clarify what I was saying earlier in Doomstream, I'm pretty sure that if I said anything about your Urian Elementals list, it was only that, like most Urian versions of most lists, I wasn't sure if it was worthwhile. But, 
I love Urion. I've played many Urion decks that I shouldn't. And um, uh, you had the requisite number of tutors to make it sort of worthwhile. So. Hold on. <laughs> so exile your Helia. I guess I'd rather draw a card here than stone, like uh, play the liquid metal coating. Yeah, I think so. All right. That's cute. All right. Yeah, that was better than my original plan. So the reason we're doing this is to make sure that no matter what I do, that they don't just, like, play Heliod. I could go, like, Karn into Pithing Needle, but then I have to protect the Karn from all their creatures. It's just, like, it just gets needlessly complicated. So let's go Wrath of God. Sure. Stone Rain. I like both the cards in my hand. Thank you. Next turn, we stone rain them and set up to stone rain them forever. And then we'll see if they can win from that position. <laughs> oh my god. Simpler the best. Better than all the rest. Yeah, I should have drawn... Uh, this card before I did any of that, but whatever. Zounds, they found a land. <gasps> Gasp! A 2-2 two -two with no abilities. Yeah, second, I mean, the second coating's not great, but yeah, it's not bad. But I, 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 I think it was correct to pitch it. I mean, let's just put them out of their misery, I guess. I can't imagine anything they could play this turn I would remotely care about. Destroyer of Heliods, oh yeah! Oh yeah, sorry, Snuggles. I I was um, interacting with the with the client. Yeah, uh, I I agree. I agree. I mean, Urian is big. What are you jamming the super qualifier? Qualifier? I don't know yet. Um, I want to grind a bunch of food decks tomorrow because I really like them. Remember, slap into snap into a slim gym. I dream about it. Randy Rootwalla sounds kind of familiar to similar to Spider Space. You know what? I bet he actually is Spider Space. Because, like... Hollow Food Vine? Yeah, they're, they're pretty fun. Oh, it's Nido. He's usually playing Storm. Yeah. Uh, his hand sucks. <laughs> yeah. I don't think Spider and and Randy Rootwall sound at all similar personally. I, I I I honestly don't know who would 
make that comparison, um, honestly. But, um, you know, if you do, that's fine. If you are a person who hears Randy Rootwalla and Spider Space and goes, yeah, those are the same person. I mean, maybe you're right. I don't know. Maybe you should bring me pictures of Spider-Man. I'm just... That is not what I meant to do. All right. Yeah, it's Storm. Storm can recover from this quite easily. But they are, like, not the heaviest land count deck to start with, so. I need to draw a land this turn. It was Storm. Yeah. There we go. Hold on. Triple Flagstones draw is kind of crazy. We have no Damping Sphere and no Chalice in the sideboard. It's actually kind of crappy. Um, I think we grab Liquid Metal Coating and then just hope Endless Stone Rains is still pretty good against them. We can also grab a Tormod's Crypt. <laughs> Crypt just kind of lights out. I mean, I, I don't think that it actually is. I, I think grabbing Liquid Metal Coating first is better because then I can play it in Stone Rain them next turn if they miss their land. But then if they don't miss their land, we can turn off one of their lands on their next upkeep while still getting the Crypt, right? Yeah. So, like, I just can't... <sighs> okay, it's technically possible they could go off on two lands. Do have to resort to the 10 goblins plan? I mean, I could probably be all right. Well, again, like, this has ways it can go wrong, but so does the other plan, so... You gotta keep them off two lands? I don't think I agree with that. Nope. Nope. Definitely don't have to keep them off two lands. That is not a requirement. I'm tempted to Cleansing Wildfire, but I think Chalice is way better. I just played an, against Storm an absolute ton um, against a very, very talented Storm player, too. So it's incredibly difficult for them to do it off of two lands. Now, they, they could do it here, but they're missing red now. now we might Cleansing Wildfire them this turn, actually, because they have the island in play. They, they play very, very light numbers of basics. Oh, I can hear either Brawl. That's what I'm doing this turn. Oh, very nicely done. Wildfire them to fix their mana. I mean, I'm going to be destroying this land, right? So they put Mana Morphos in their hand. Okay. Yeah, my dork. Rip. All 
I'll be back in one second. I know Larynx was joking, but, um, <laughs> I know Larynx was joking, but I, I don't consider Storm to be the kind of deck where I, I ever feel like, I don't know, put upon by playing against them because their lines are almost always deterministic. Um, and when they're not, they're like genuinely interesting. This, this this is a suicide keep. We can't keep that. This is also a suicide keep, but like a much better one. How many lands are we on? If we're on 24, I'm keeping this. 23? Yeah. So they kept their six. Uh. I feel lucky. Uh-oh. It's happening. Oops. Oh, they're also land stalled. That's cute. Land? Oh. Alright, so, we've joined in a true contest of wills here. Who will con hit the concede button first? Winner! So, I guess I'm supposed to Cleansing Wildfire this turn and then just pillage them? <laughs> well, the, the problem is, like, it's not like I can do anything with this immediately, right? I mean, I could Cleansing Wildfire them and hope that they have to get a mountain or they don't have another island. Chalice for one? I, I don't... I mean, they have Serum Visions. All right, all right. So I don't think we're supposed to play Rip this turn. I don't think we're supposed to play Rip now. Like, it, it's just, it, we don't need it this turn. They can't repeal on a single blue on Chalice, 
rats. All right, land. Land. Nope. So now rest in peace is a little more appealing. Yeah. Ritual. They have Amorphos. They have Goblins in hand. Pillage the Brawl with Karn. I mean, I don't think we're ever going to have time to do that, Alex, but we could do that, yes. By Karn, you mean the liquid metal coating. I assume. Yeah, it's, it's no worries, Larynx. I mean, there are options. Opponents playing into us top-decking land and somehow also... Why is Graveyard Hate good versus Storm? Uh, so Pass in Flames is one of the ways that their ability to kill is deterministic. Yeah, it's possible, Carrion Lich. It's just, it's just, it's very unlikely. It's definitely possible, but it's really unlikely. Oh, wait, they're just doing it for storm count? Wait, are they about to grape shot for six? Kiss, 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 huh? Nope. Ain't time for nothing. They fizzled. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I don't think they misclicked. They might have assumed... Because they, they didn't have blue mana for this. Yeah, they definitely missed the chalice on the on the Serum Visions, I think. I mean, taking them off red is what we're going to do here, yeah. beats the beat goes on yeah the beat goes on yeah there we go reman this don't though crap Yeah, I mean, they were pretty likely to have it, though. They were, like, 21 cards into their deck. They usually play four. So, it's not, uh, not, not terribly unfortunate. What do you have to get them with? Sorry, I don't understand. Yeah, anger again. I mean, anger is still in my hand, right? We just cast it again. And, like, 
Well, replacement brawl is one of the worst things that can happen to me at this point. I think they're doing math because they have something. It's probably uh, Manamorphose into something. Desperate Ritual, okay. They have up to five mana, but their spells cost up to two less. Wish! All right, here comes Gob. Oh, no. Grape Shot, Reman, Grape Shot. How much damage is this? like another seven so two plus what five yeah yeah i do two was what the hell is this holy crap wow okay and then Yeah, but they also had two Grave Shots in their hand already? Or just one? Yeah, they, the second one plus a Remand. Yeah, I mean, it happens. It was still an incredibly silly game, and we definitely could have won it. No, 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 no. No, you didn't, Mr. Maple Syrup. It was fine. The only line I see recommending was the... With Wish in the format, I'm surprised this deck isn't more common. I think a lot of people just hadn't figured it out yet. Now that we're seeing it more, we may see it more. Like, people need to see something be successful before they pick it up on mass. Um, so Nito is one of the long time, I th I'm assuming they mean, uh, gift storm. Yeah. I think you're going to see it more, more soon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the format is, well, I mean, the way you say it is like, so that's kind of true. What it actually means is like any deck could be positioned well on a given weekend. So like, I really wouldn't be surprised at some point, not soon, but soon enough to see um, Dredge or something similar to that spike a weekend. Because it's just so far from people's radars right now. Like, nobody's respecting certain archetypes that used to be around. Greentron and Leagues has crushed us a bunch of times. So now we go Karen for Liquid Metal Coating. Even if they have Reman, they can't beat me. I guess Lightning Bolt would beat me. But I don't want to get Graveyard Hate. I have Rest in Peace in my hand. If you have the coating, I assume it's going to make it. Uh oh. wasn't counting on that i mean that's a lot of resources spent from them a lot oh and then
Rip. Oh yeah, good draw. You know what's good against Storm? Chalice on two. True facts. Also Chalice on one, but Chalice on two. Good against Storm. Oh, you know what's cool about this play? We have Pillage in our hands, so we can use Liquid Metal Coating to turn one of their lands into an artifact and then destroy it with Pillage. That's hot. Anyone like my big brain play? We did the thing. <laughs> Six head. <laughs> is that the official new number of head that is the, the galaxy brain but idiotic play? Oh, Modern Horizon 2 drafts are back. That's sick. If it's dumb but it works, is it dumb? Yes. The answer is yes. If it's dumb but it works, it's dumb. You can still be stupid and successful. Our saga's way down. Oh, you mean online. Yeah. I think it's open till September. Well, hopefully it can bring monkeys down. Not that I care for me, but I just care for people in general. Oh, Ursa's Saga. <laughs> In the set of Ragavans being... Yeah. Jesus, Larnell. Go Brian. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this in the dark on the draw. I like Fury. Well, shit. I'm not pitching Fury for this. I'm just, I'm just not. We'll eat the hit here. There's very little from the R deck that they can actually get and use. Yeah, they hit a land anyway. That's fine. Shit. 
shit. Damn it. Ah. Uh, monkey with discard. I mean, it's fine. This is not useful right now. Um... So again, the part of the reason I'm not going after this monkey is it's just too easy for them to have another monkey or just, yeah, I'm, I'm, I am, but they know their fury is in my hand now, Steven's voice. So they may, um, now on four, there's plenty they can hit because monkey is obnoxious like that. Okay. A braid doesn't matter. Oh, they had the land. Shit. Yeah. Fuck. Sorry. <sighs> we can't beat that. Can't, can't beat that. They hit a pillage. <sighs> I mean, so... <sighs> that was a uniquely, you know, crappy game to be against Ragavan... On the draw. Yeah, Prismatic Endings, I, I was actually looking before the league started, and during, while I was talking about the deck, I was surprised not to find them. I think the Abrade Liquid Metal Coating Package is taking up that space. Um, but I think Prismatic Ending is probably better. But it those it's, it's a meta choice, right? Because if... Like, you can do that, but then... Sorry, hold on. I'm just thinking about this sideboarding. Yeah, it's... Well, it's worse against a whole bunch of decks, right? I feel like there's just a lot of decks where, like, the, the choices that this deck made, like, sometimes you're just going to lose to what we just hit there. And that was, like, again, they, they didn't actually have to do that much to, to win that game with that strategy. And it, it, we just never drew a second of braid, and I stubbornly didn't fury the Ragavan and two-for-one myself. And if I had done it, maybe we would have won that. I don't know. Like, maybe you're just supposed to do that? I don't know. I don't. Think you are, but <sighs> that's tough. Why no sunbaked canyons for like two basics? I don't know. I, I didn't build this deck mirror. Um, probably be fine. Yeah, two sunbaked canyons instead of two of the mountains seems like fine. Um, I mean, you need enough basics for cleansing wildfire, I guess. Although, if you had three or four basics in play and your Cleansing Wildfire is going to miss because of that, I don't think you're really going to be worried about it. Oh my god. Ew. Sorry. Yep. 
Of course, I don't have an answer for a monkey, so... Maybe we get smashed again? Oh, wait, I have, I have Nahiri on turn three. God damn it. Swap the filter lands for canyons? I think the filter lands might be more important post-board than you may think. Yeah. Kind of annoying. All right, but we're just going to go for Nahirion too here, and they have to have Thoughtseize this time to stop that. All right. Oh, but I... Okay, so if they hit a Pillage again, they actually can kill a land here. No, they hit a land. Sure. Oh my god. Okay, good, good. The right discard spell happened. They could take the rest of peace though. Monkey on one is the sage choice. Uh oh my god. Alright. I retract my statement. This card is obnoxious. This is this is just not acceptable. Even if I top deck that, it's still BS. It's ridiculous. Not okay. Not okay. The tempo gain there. Like, what the hell? Why? Why is this okay? No, it's fine. We're playing, again, we're playing a deck that is, like, traded off some... Traded off some of its viability against a deck like this. Like, I see Painter is playing them. I mean, I don't... Is that... I mean... You think Regavan 100% gets banned? I doubt that. I think it could get banned. It's just so efficient. That, that That's the thing about Regavan. It's just too efficient not to play it if you're in red, basically. Yeah, I don't think Ragavan's actually close to getting banned, which is a little frustrating. Thought sees. Okay. So they're just going to play the Ragavan? Not having this rest in peace, though, I'm, like, actually quite concerned about that because... Like, maybe if I find Anger of the Gods, I get to wipe this. Jeez. You hate to see it. Maybe they'll have Thought sees. Nothing getting banned in 2021. That's a bold claim. Did you see 2020? Did you see the massacre that was 2020? I just want to make sure that you understand what... Jeez. Steal my rat. They're hitting lands too? Ah. Uh, you think a lot needs to go? I don't think that much needs to go. 2020 was an outlier. I don't know about that one. Oh, sick. I mean... Not really, but it definitely increases the density of action in my deck. Please no ban my monkeys. I mean. I think there was at least one year that got... No, I want to say there was two years that got missed for Modern Plague. I want to say 20... 14 and 2017 that didn't happen <sighs> what but how's the one of the questions is if they ban luris do they have to touch hammer 2017 was definitely kci banned uh no no it wasn't 2019 was kci banning i'm almost 100 percent sure 2019 or 20 really okay are they gonna k-com me that's fine except for the life total part i'm actually dying 2017 can't be kci just it's okay mirror this has happened every uh every league so far this week i think we like 3-0 into 0-2 
Oh, damn it. Now this is flipped. We're taking too much damage. I brought in all the rats, but the monkey took took them off the top. Not that that matters, but... Bobble is a free enabler that warps a format. Well, there the it always has been, though. But before now, the things that we're enabling just weren't good enough. Oh, yeah, we're playing with house money already, Last God. I'm not actually worried about it, but um, it's just kind of frustrating that, like, we keep seeming to be, like, on the path to trophy, and then something just stops us dead. Like, and thus far, this match has not felt close, right? Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, we also had Wrath of God and Anger, right? We had lots of cards that would have done what that what that did. Is this Terminate? Nope. Oh, that's terrifying. That's actually lethal, huh? A braid? Anything? Pillage. Okay, just dead. Oh my god! We drew Emrakul three times that match. It's just nonsense. That's okay. Like again, this is this is what happens to the majority of leagues. Yeah, I, I'm just saying that like they don't always choose to ban the enablers, and they don't always choose to ban the payoffs. They've they've gone back and forth depending on what the individual state of a format is. And I think if they banned Luris right now, Bobble wouldn't be anywhere nearly as good. The funny thing about that conversation, though, Mir, about Modern becoming a higher power level and more Legacy Light, is that that's constantly been the conversation, because at the same time, Legacy's getting more powerful. It will never... Yeah, I mean, it doesn't have the same checks that Legacy does, but... So, who's in the get punished again camp? Get punished? So, by waiting until next turn, again... We play better around them having a second Ragavan because what we can do is play the Chalice, then kill the first Ragavan, so they can't play or dash the second one. You don't think we two for one ourselves? I mean, we were on the draw. All right, everyone's saying just say go. Last time we did this, we died horribly. Um, you were all here. That was last match. Um, and I still think this is the correct play. But it's just really tilting if they then have the removal spell. Or, so not the removal spell, the discard spell. Because then we lose the Abrade. I don't have another red card. Oh! Oh! Great! They grabbed the Pillage again! No, we didn't miss a land. We were on the draw! <laughs> yeah, sorry. I just... This is exactly what happened last game. Fucking bull. It's just... Just so stupid. Sorry, sorry. I apologize. It's just twice in a row. And now they're going to have, like, double discard, take both my chalices, we're going to have no game. <laughs> I'm just calling it. <laughs> no, I know, I know. It's just, it's just, it's just stupid. 
No, it did that the last the last match, Darth Combo. This is exactly what happened in the last match that I was trying to avoid. I think you're supposed to pitch the freaking uh the Fury on one. So stickball in two matches in a row. I've had Chalice on two as an option, and they play Monkey on one, and I have a Fury. And the question is, are you supposed to two for one yourself to kill the monkey? And I believe you're not supposed to. Yeah, but it's we're not bolting it, Carrion. It's not bolting it. It's different. You you're not supposed to necessarily two for one yourself against a Birds of Paradise. Tilt based biased. I well, but it literally just happened in two games, and if I hadn't done it there and done what I did last game, I think we would be dying right now. So I don't God, and then Crocs is gonna kill us. Path the bird. Exactly. Kill the monkey and the DRC. No, I I understand. Like, that's part of the reason that I want to play it the way that I want to play it. But it's just that twice in a row now we've been, like, horribly punished. Yeah, and unfortunately we're just going to be a turn late on the chalice. And I don't realistically have a good main deck answer for a Croxa, so we should get flattened here. Really? You had to wait until post-combat to play the Croxa? You got, like, this close to playing it pre-combat. <laughs> We are not playing ending in this deck stick ball. Yeah. But it's it's But again, so like that may be the thing to learn from this deck is that we were doing great until we ran into double double black red monkey deck. And just got flattened by the fact that we don't have enough early removal. You want this to be a long stream? We need the monkeys to stop. I like this deck too. I just... Uh, I don't think so, Halsey. I think these decks thrive heavily on... Um, I think these decks thrive heavily on being able to play Mana Denial plus Chalice. And Chalice is also good in this metagame against unfair decks. I'm, I'm very much aware of how Prismatic interacts with Chalice, yes. The, again, the reason this deck's not playing Prismatic Ending, I think, is because they put all these slots into having, like, a Braid Liquid Metal Coating. Sorry, we don't want to cut a Braids here. I think a Johnny is better than Karn. Well, I think Karn is way too important for the, the, the breadth of Modern. Yeah, Spike, Spike Field, I think, might be good in this deck as well. All right, so we've got the turn two chalice. So maybe for once on keeping their seven, again, they kept their seven, maybe they won't have monkey. Uh, no, I don't believe in a Johnny Vengeant. I think that's a relatively low power card. I know what it does, Stick. I just don't believe in it. I don't think that's good enough. And I know Karn is often less than that, but Karn is also way, way more than that. Like, he's got a, a lower floor, but a much higher ceiling. The maximum power level of Karn is crazy high. Okay, so basically can't pillage here, but we can just play Rest in Peace, and then Rest in Peace insulates us from the Dothy Void Walker, no matter what they do. Yeah. 
I just think Karn is way more important in game ones, too. Yeah, I know his speed is slow. But, like, you're supposed to be able to make the space for him. Bad. Oh, you haven't seen it, Ward? I've already seen replacement effects recently. Yeah, Stony Silence is also good in, in the metagame in general, right? So we could get the boat. Pretty sure I'm just supposed to pillage. Because I'm assuming I'm eventually going to find one of my sweepers. Ezra... <laughs> When I heard it, I was like, is this the opening for the original Gundam? By original, I mean the first one we got in North America. I don't know if it's the original. Uh, it says Mobile Suit Gundam Wing, opening one. So that was that, that is the first one I remember from North America. That was on the Canadian equivalent of Toonami. Or I don't... They called it something like that. They couldn't just play anime shows on the Cartoon Channel. They had to make a big deal out of it. I just need one piece of removal, right? Like, we, we haven't had it a braid. The problem with Karn right now is it just gets hit to one or I wish for something and it can get discarded. Although, I guess their discard's all off, so we probably just get, like, Sky Sovereign. So I, I can't realistically get Bridge. I, I'm not going to be able to unload my hand, I don't think. Oh, they let it resolve? That's funny. Gear Hulk? Uh, no. I don't think we play Gear Hulk here. I mean, we, we could, but it... Bridge? Yeah, wor Worm Coil and Bridge are options. Worm Coil, Bridge, and Sky Sovereign. I think Worm Coil is probably the best one. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me read Worm Coil. I have a rest in peace in play. Dies. Yeah, I don't want that. Yeah, I, I caught it, Mord. There's no Ballista, unfortunately. No, it's all good, y'all. I cut the rest in peace, so you don't need to. Bridge probably protects me from more, in theory. If they have a second Voidwalker. I know, I like the boat too, Mord, but I think Bridge is probably better. Well, there, there were three in the main deck, Darth Combo. They're not four coatings to wish for. There were three in the main deck, and I think they are not correct to keep in this matchup because... The opponent's heavy attrition deck is likely to have you in a spot where you're not able to use the coating effectively, and that the abraid the the bolt side of a braid is good enough anyway. Kick a man off the top, yeah. Unnecessarily splitting their attacks because I have chalice on one. Kick a man will kill boat. Kick a man will kill bridge too. But the reason boat is good is that sometimes you get to use it and um, you get to use it and kill something. And then even if they kill it afterwards, you get to, they don't have a discard spell. Of course they do. Cause I've had the chalice on one forever. See, this is, yeah. These, these freaking decks, man.
brutal. So this is just a 3-2. This card is actually drawing them cards. But we're, we're just not going to be able to recover now. There are too many cards up. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, Amir. I know. Like, this is... <laughs> yeah, this is the experience. All right. How many lands do I end up with? Four? Good enough for me. Alright, we we bustin'. And uh bustin' makes me feel good. <laughs> uh Armageddon. Oh it this doesn't die. I don't have four lands. Alright, that's okay. And I don't have double red if we draw anger, and I don't have double white if we drew uh, Wrath of God. One of the best possible draws. Because now I have double white or double red. Double red is much better in general. And we draw... Alright. Just draw a red card, Zach. Also, opponent, you, there's no way you are going to draw a second land. But you might have a Thoughtseize. Oh, we're playing the Hiri Boom. Jesus. <laughs> of course. Of course we would draw in that order. Of course we would draw it in that order. <laughs> and two mana, three, two, unblockable. Can't be beat. It's exactly how I lost the last match. It was exactly how I lost the last match. Oh, that was rough. So yeah, uh, this version of Dahiri Boom was... It was good. I mean, we, we 2 owed Heliod, we 0-2'd against um, Black Red Luris. And I guess that shouldn't surprise me. Because um, we're not playing Prismatic Endings. Um... It's this deck is a lot heavier on land destruction, which really helped us against Storm, helped us a bit against Heliod. So let's see, let's let's make a copy of this. Why no endings? Again, stop. <laughs> I I need people to stop asking me questions about the deck construction because I didn't construct this deck. So let's look at constructing this deck. Let's let's look at what we learned because I think perhaps we should add four first pack again. <laughs> So almost exclusively on this channel, I play decks that I find rather than playing decks that I built. Because I rip around to different minus four braids, minus four. No, 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 no. Hold on. You're missing. You're missing. You're not. I don't think we're playing liquid metal coating if um, we're going to play uh, not play the braids, which is fine because that gives us seven slots to play with. Right. So. Uh, you, you, you are a spider, but the good part is you always have been. So you don't need to change how you feel. You, you just keep feeling the way you're feeling. Just, you've always been the same. No, he hasn't turned to the dark side. Spider always was the dark side. Now he just knows. They were on Mill, though? So what? Mill's a hero. <laughs> Alright, so, um, and then we have three slots to play with here, and I think think I want to play Season Pyromancer. And then I think I want to cut this last stone rain so we can get the fourth one in here. And I want to see I want to see how this one feels if we take this out. So the big difference is we're no longer playing um, silly cards. Uh, plus two Shattering Spree in the sideboard. Okay. What do you want to sideboard out for those, Mir? Oh, and I think I... Well, I, I want Walking Ballista. I don't know if we actually need Walking Ballista. I like Sky Sovereign a lot, too. 
There's still Gear Hulk on the board. Yeah, Gear Gear Hulk is sort of the 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 shattering spree that you get to play with Karn in the main deck. Gear Hulk and One Wrath. No, 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 no. We're keeping the Gear Hulk. We didn't run into any of the matchups for Gear Hulk, but like Gear Hulk is nuts against food. Yeah, I like a blist in the sideboard too. I just don't know if it's necessary more. That's all I'm saying. Um, maybe with Karn and Tormod's Crypt and Relic, we don't need three rest in peace. We can just play two. Because we played against Black Red Lurus twice there, and we rest in peace them, and then we lost. So it, it may not be the card in this meta that it's trying to be. Um, and we have Chalices if we run into Living End. Um, minus three rip plus three sanctifiers. Uh, rest in peace is way better against Living End, but way worse against Black Red Lurus. I do like Sanctifier a lot. Yeah, Rip is good against Murktide. Yeah. I mean, so so is um so is Sanctifier on Vec, right? They don't tend to play a lot of bound space removal. Like you're you're probably gonna be okay. I, I don't think they're bringing a lot of bounce spells against this deck. So the Sanctifier is kinda gonna do the work anyway. Counterspell, Charm, Cantrips. Okay. But the... Oh, you... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you, you're saying. Yeah, okay. That's fair. Like, you want to cut off the graveyard entirely and make the, the Merc Tides nothing. That's fair. I just wanted to slow them down. Yeah, okay. We'll keep the rest in peace. I, I just don't even know if we need the Shattering Spree, right? What's the anger doing here? We have four wrath effects inside. I count four with the angers. Anger's a bit faster. It also puts things in exile rather than wrath of God. Like anger is significant a good chunk of the time, right? Like anger against the black red Luris deck for the most part is better than wrath. Like it didn't come up because we didn't draw it or when we did draw it, it might've gotten thought thoughtsies, but... You have the pro red covered with innings, so anger's a good choice. Sure, yeah. <laughs> do we just do we even need shattering spree? Like what do, what do people want a shattering spree? We're already playing Mana Karn, right? And then we can get Cataclysmic Gear Hulk. If we're not able to do those things, we're probably losing that game anyway. Actually, it'd be interesting to see the um let's 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 just like play one token shattering spray. No, I'd rather keep playing the rest in pieces until I run into oops, until I run into one of the food decks and actually have to make a decision. So um Yeah, the Gear Hulk with with Karen is great. So these are the choices I would propose um, for this deck, and we're actually going to run them back in just a second here. But if you are in the future and you are watching this on uh, the YouTube, make sure you hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, let me know what decks you'd like to see, and check out any of the other decks that are being posted, uh, including the second league with the tweaked Sun and Moon deck. See you there. For everyone who's live, we're just going to rent up the cards necessary to run this back with the changes we've made here. Um, 
I I just don't like ley lines in general stickball, so I'm I'm just not inclined to run stick uh, any any ley lines basically ever. I just kind of I'm I'm just bad at playing with them, and I don't like playing with them, and I'm bad at playing with them. I feel like I almost always lose by registering ley lines. So then I have to mull to like get them or keep a hand that doesn't have one and immediately top deck it. Oh, and someone wanted some sun baked in the mana base. You get behind that. I don't really want to cut Rugged Prairie for it, though. Maybe one. But we've got a lot of double reds now. And then we've got double white coming out of the sideboard. Uh, I believe it should Darth Combo. 